Now, between the Iron Dome, the David Sling, and the Arrows 2 and 3, Israel has a lot of protection from incoming projectiles, but that doesn't mean that it's perfect. And the arsenal on our doorstep isn't small either. So the question remains, how protected are the Israeli skies? Joining me to discuss is Colonel Avihar Evan, former director of the Israel Space Agency and researcher with the Begin Sadat Institute. Colonel, thank you so much for coming in. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. You're welcome. All right, so first of all, what do you make of this latest successful test of the, of the Aero 3? What do we make? We make uh, that we can't be sure, almost sure, that uh, our skies are closed to, you know, as you can see, to outcoming uh, missiles. And uh, of course you cannot uh, protect completely and be sure that uh, everything is closed. But uh, I don't think that there is any country in the world that its skies are so well protected. So in what ways, because, you know, I, I don't want to put it in a frame of, you know, what are the weaknesses, but where, where can the four-tier system, because I know that, that the Arrow 2 and 3 and the Iron Dome and David Sling, they work together with different, kind of, with different threats. Yes. Um, so, you know, where, where do they need to improve? First of all, you have to be sure that no, uh, no nothing that can aim and can uh, not protect, or that our skies are not protected. Because today, with the systems that are in four tiles, we are protected against missiles, against uh, uh, different kind of launchers. Like mortars and Kassam. And exactly, all that. exactly, that we can destroy them. We can defer between uh, such uh, aims that can destroy more of our industry, of our, our system. And uh, all those systems that are all together integrated, they can uh, protect us against uh, missiles, against uh, launchers, uh, against different kind of uh, aims like uh, what I just uh, mentioned. Sure. So, so what, what kind of threat then does the missile arsenal, put, you know, that Hezbollah has, that Syria uh, and Iran has in Syria, if they, if you were to add that even to say Hamas's weapons in Gaza and all three were to launch an attack on Israel, how prepared, how, how prepared would the air defense system be? The air protection system is very, very protected because it, can, it protects us against uh, missiles from different heights, that come from different heights, from different ranges. And I don't know at the moment, except uh, from Russia or maybe the United States, about uh, some systems that are intercontinental that can be an aim or can aim and destroy targets in Israel. Of course, if uh, all the, men the nations you just mentioned, like Hezbollah, like uh, Hamas, uh, will join and uh, attack, attack us time. and attack us, will not be able to destroy all of them. But we, first of all, we know how to differentiate mm -hmm. between them to define which of them are more uh, dangerous to us, to destroy us, destroy them, and, leave, and, leave and, the and, and exactly. All right, Colonel, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an honor. Thank you. You're welcome.